time. And I like to play them double time. Ready? Here we go. Notice I'm starting from the outside, working my way in. Okay, so step one, what we want to do is we want to play in the key of C. I'll just do this because it's a lot easier to see. So we're starting on fourth scale degree, which is an F major seventh chord. Then we have an E minor seventh chord. And you notice there's a space between each key. And there's my D minor seventh chord. And then last but not least, C major seventh chord. And what I'm doing is I'm breaking them up kind of doing this nice little motion here. And then the same thing for this one here, E minor. And the same thing for D minor seventh. And then last but not least, our C major seventh. Okay, so what we wanna do in step two is we wanna play the right hand chords, which if you notice, my left hand plays the F major seventh. Now, if I go here to the third, I can start my arpeggio here on the third. Instead of, that just sounds boring, you know? <laughs> so what I did is start on the third, Scale degree. And so that creates an A minor uh, seventh chord. So I'm gonna play this one. The next chord is gonna be, listen to this. Mm -mm, not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep the G there at the top. Because if you listen to this together, watch this. Ugh, it just doesn't fit, but that does. So that's the reason why we do a G major. The next chord is gonna be an F major seventh. And you can split it up. And then last but not least, we have an E minor seven. All right, so step three, we want to move up to get up and down together. All right, here we go. Now again, you don't have to play it as fast as I'm playing it. I want you to take your time, do it right the first time, do it right the second time, the third time, fourth time, fifth time, and then gradually build to the speed. Included with this lesson is a free PDF, so that way you can learn to play these movements in all 12 keys, uh, not just the key of C, not just the key of C sharp. So I didn't leave any key out, all keys matter. <laughs> and uh, so with that being said and done, uh, I do wanna let you guys know also with this lesson is a play along track and I'm gonna put those in the key of C and also in the key of C sharp. But if you're wondering how I'm doing this in each key, Quickly, in the left hand, I'm playing a four major seven, because here's in the key of C, here's a four major seven, three minor seven, two is also a minor seventh, and then a one major seven. So it's four major seven, three minor seven, two minor seven, and then one major seven. So that way you can do this in each key. So it doesn't matter what key you're in, go to the fourth scale degree, play a major seventh, third minor seven, second scale degree, minor second. Uh, seventh and then of course the one is major seven and with the right hand I'm just playing a a minor which is the sixth category so the six minor seven just a basic five chord five and then a four major seven and then last but not least a three minor seven with the right hand so you put those together and that's how we're creating this okay so in step four what we want to do is we want to create an outside inside type of movement. So we're not moving up and down together. We're gonna to start from outside and move in and then back out to create this interesting type of arpeggio. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do this same chord, but we're gonna start on the outside and then move in. All right, so let's do it in tempo. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now again, if you can't move this fast, slow it down to whatever tempo that you can work with. Now, if you notice, I'm starting with this F major and A minor, and I'm, I'm, working, I'm starting on the outside and working my way in. And again, like I said, if you can't go this fast, go slow. Until you can get it right, okay? We're not in competition with anyone but ourselves. All right, so let's go to step five. So in step five, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna move this up an octave just to create some separation. And if you notice in the beginning of the video, when we started out, I was going super fast. So we're going to call this double time. So instead of this, we're going to go double time. So it's 
<laughs> All right, so let's move the track. We'll move the track down a half step to the key of C. Uh, and then I'll also include the C sharp uh, play along track as well um, that you heard in the beginning. All right, so let's start this off in the key of C. So I'm working my way out and moving in. Out, in. Last one. All right, now we can do that in the next key, C sharp. So like you heard in the beginning, I was in the key of C sharp and that's the key I prefer to, uh, to play it in. It has a more R&B type of flavor or type, type of vibe, but I taught this in the key of C. I went through all steps. Uh, all five steps in the key of C, so that way you can see each node and you can actually see how these move in a much easier way than when you start incorporating black keys. Okay, so as a bonus, let's go to C sharp and we'll play through the example all the way through from the beginning to the end. All right, so let's go to C sharp. Notice I'm starting from the outside, working my way in. Well guys, I've had a blast playing these arpeggios and these chord extensions. Uh, I want you all to know that I love you so much and you know I never like to close out any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. And don't forget to head over to the website to download these free tools. Of course, you have a limited time to head over to get it uh, for free. A charge we pay the transaction fee for a few days uh, so that way you guys don't have to worry about that just be sure to subscribe click the notification bell that way you're notified when these videos come out and you can be able to download all these tools for free well i love you guys and i will see you in the next video